Hey, what's up, guys? It is Saints fan, and welcome back to another episode of Touch Up Tuesday. And this week is going to be a bit different because instead of me just showing five random paint jobs that I think are cool, I figured let's take this to specific cars. And we're going to start with the T20 because next week we're getting the Pegasi Reaper, and that car I feel is going to replace the T20 for a lot of people. So why don't we send the T20 off with the top five best paint jobs? The first one, this one is probably one of the best looking ones, in my opinion, that isn't a modded paint job. A lot of these you're going to see, they're paint jobs that you can get by just using the regular LSC colors. Some of them, I will say, do look better if you choose a modded color that is similar looking. But getting back to this paint job, to make it, put a bright purple with a yellow pearlescent. Once you do that, then go ahead and equip it with the gold user or user sport rims this is actually based off of the cerebrus mclaren paint job and it looks amazing in real life you you can't get like 100 percent the same effect going just because that's how gta works but i feel like this is the closest base paint job that you can use to achieve that result again this one might be better off if you choose a darker purple if you go with a modded crew color but as is it looks amazing the rims obviously go well with it i love the combination of the purple with that yellow you get some oranges in there especially when the sun hits it looks phenomenal and in my opinion on the t20 it's one of the best multi-colored paint jobs next up we have an orange paint job this one is probably a lot of people's favorite just because it's so nice looking it's so clean looking this one actually does or the way i show it it uses a pure black crew color if you don't want to do that i mean the hex is on the screen but if you don't want to do that you can just use a regular black but the pure black one is a little bit darker so the pearlescent effect for the secondary isn't as noticeable to make this one though as you see start with a formula red and then put a do yellow pearlescent on top you get an amazing orange color in certain lights you can see more of the yellow and in other lights you can see more of the red but they combine to give you that really great orange and then mixing that with the pure black or any black for the secondary and the rims this is such a great combination you really can't go wrong with it in my opinion this is like the second most popular paint job for this car really any sort of reddish yellowish orange color mixed with a black on this car looks amazing and hopefully you think so too the third one we have this one is a nice blue color if you wanted something a little bit lighter go with this one to make it you can see put an ultra blue metallic with a diamond blue pearlescent and then for the secondary go with a black color you can either choose regular black or the pure black like i just showed off also put on black rims once you do that i love this combination of the light blue with the dark black this one may not be for everyone because it is pretty bright and in the sun especially it'll start popping a lot it'll become really bright i don't think it'll become as bright as some of those colors you've seen me do in the past but out of all the colors in today's episode this one is definitely the brightest the fourth color this one is a fantastic in my opinion one of the best matte colors for the t20 you are going to need to glitch a pearlescent on top of the mat everybody should pretty much know how to do that by now but the matte you are going to use is the midnight blue and the pearlescent you're going to use is the race yellow once you do that the color that it makes is this really great looking sort of light green and they actually go as you can see i put here they actually go really well with the pea green rims as you can see though when we go out in the sun it just i love i love this car in the daylight that race yellow pearlescent just absolutely shines and the matte texture i love the matte texture on pretty much any car and the t20 is no exception also i like the way the rims kind of go with the pearlescent and with the the sort of green color that it makes and then last but not least we have number five and these were really in no particular order but the last one is sort of a a pinkish reddish color to make this one put a cabernet red with a pifster pink pearlescent and then for the secondary you can choose whether or not you want the pifster pink secondary or if you just want a black secondary the pink may be a little bit too much for some people but either way the red you create here with that combination of the cabernet red and the pifster pink is just incredible on this car the rims, there's nothing really uh, too important that you use. That, that's going to be up to you. You can either leave it the gold like we showed in the first one. You can make them black. You can try and make them red or pink to match. Or you can even go white if you want it a little bit brighter. 
but the red is so amazing on this one. I love the dark red mixed with the light pink. I also like when you're driving it at nighttime and you go underneath a street light, you can see that pink shine a little bit. And when you're looking at it in the garage or kind of even in daytime, it's got a nice balance of the dark and light colors. That is it with the video though. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you thought these were uh, your top five best T20 colors. And also let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more of these type of videos where I do maybe the top five colors on a specific car. So instead of just doing random five colors, we can do a car of the week. If you would like to see more of that, drop a like and let me know in the comments. But see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, all that stuff. And as always, it's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.